name's Jer Anderson, and I'm your host this evening with Native Guitars Tour Behind the Mask. I'm a singer-songwriter and guitarist from the Pueblo lands of New Mexico. Every week we bring you exhilarating live interviews with today's top Native artists. We bring you the genre of music Native Americana, contemporary music from the indigenous people of America who tell their stories in modern styles of music, from blues to rock, jazz to metal, punk to hip hop. Tune in each week as these musical superheroes take off their masks for a one-on-one -on -one safe social distance interview. From the Badlands in South Dakota to the Red Sands of the Navajo and Pueblo nations in the Southwest and beyond. I'm gonna take one more minute here to tell you a little bit about Native Guitars Tour. And then we're gonna get right into our discussion with today's Behind the Mask artist. Native Guitarist Tour, providing a stage for Native America. We wanna share our songs, our stories with the world. So please take this invitation, follow us, and join our musical journey. Our movement has led us to mentor and foster talent and to provide a platform to showcase today's hardest working Native American artists. Native American musicians have a unique story we come from tradition, we come from community, and we are doing amazing things globally. From blazing electric guitars to prodigies of violin and cello, the NGT community is on the move, and we want you to join our journey. Let's hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and follow Native Guitars Tour on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And visit us at nativeguitarstour.com where you can get links to all our networks, you can see our services and you can see what's going on with native artists. Today we have an awesome singer songwriter, originally from a duo. She's from the Navajo Nation. We're excited to connect with her here. Hello, my name is Dachini Martin. I'm from the Navajo Reservation and um, I'll introduce myself in Navajo. Uh, I'm I'm usually known as the Martin Sisters, but today I'm doing it solo. <laughs> right on. We're, we're really excited and I want to thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Something that I, I always kind of start out with and I like to start out with, um, and it'd be real interesting to hear from, you know, your perspective with COVID, you know, and us being on lockdown for pretty much a year now. We're getting close to a year. How has that impact, impacted, you know, you, your music, and what do you do for your your wellness and just to to keep it all together these days? Okay, well, this like it 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 just came fast, and it was something that we weren't ready and we didn't expect. We had like a lot of opportunities that we had to kind of pass by because this was. You know, we, we didn't want to go out and it was kind of freaky. Like, and during the middle of this, we were working on our music video, um, Piccadilly Dilly, which also came out. Um, but it, we had to postpone a lot of things and it was something to adjust to. And recently we've, we've just been doing things more online and trying to stay safe. But I like I think here. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, I, I totally get it. You know, we we we're normally touring. We're normally on the road, yeah. um, and it's just been you know everything shut down. So it kind of gave us this opportunity to kind of put this together, right? Yeah, yeah. The mask where we get to. So that's pretty awesome. And and it seems like you're you're you've been keeping things moving along pretty steadily. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of we were unsure when to post a music video because it's kind of when you look at it now, it's weird because you you know you're used to people with masks now. But before this whole thing started, it was it was just we didn't we didn't know when was the right time to post this. Yeah, no, I totally get it. Well, I I see you have a guitar there. Does yeah. that mean we're, we're gonna get we get to get a song? Yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, why don't you go ahead and uh, play us something? You can either talk about it now or we can talk about it after. Um. Yeah, I'll play you something. So this is "All I Want" by Codaline, and it's a cover. 
because what the song is, well, well how I, I interpret it was, you know, people, like if somebody passes on, this is somebody that is dealing with it, or if somebody, if, I, if it's like a breakup or something along that line. So that's how I interpreted it. All I want is nothing more Than to hear you knocking at my door But if I could see your face once more I could die a happy man, I'm sure When you said your last goodbye, I died a little bit inside. But if you love me, why'd you leave me? Take my body, take my body. All I want is, and all I need is, find somebody, I'll find somebody like you. in me, a part of me I never seen. You took my soul and wiped it clean. Our love was made from moving scenes. But if you love me, why'd you leave me? Take my body, take my body. All I want is, and all I need is, to find somebody, I'll find somebody like you. sounded great that sounded awesome thank you you know that was very um touching because you 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 had kind of talked about you know it being about relationships and also about you know losing somebody yeah and i i lost my my father earlier this week and you know it's just um you know nice to hear that you know it's something i can relate to yeah it's pretty Pretty awesome. So did you write that song yourself? Is that something that um, you... It was a cover. I have songs myself, but we're, it's to be to be brought out soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. That sounded great. Right. So, you know, when you're, when you're working on music, how do you, how do you, how do you pick what songs you want to do? Well, when I'm writing, I usually, I'll be inspired by something like, let's say, even if it's like a video game character or like a movie character, I'll, I'll be like, I wonder what their perspective, how I would write in their perspective. And when I wrote one of the songs that I worked on, I, I was going through 
almost stage fright. And I wanted to write about overcoming something. But then you see like a red light and you just, you kind of freeze. And I wrote, however, I like based off of what I'm feeling. Wow. Um, when you're when you're writing, you know, when you're when you're coming up with stuff like that, and you're looking for for um, you know themes and 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 lyrics, and you know, putting that all together, who inspires you? What what artists are you listening to now? Like, what's on your playlist? Well, right now on my playlist is like a lot of genres. Like, I'll listen to metal or rock. So I'll have like Pantera or Metallica or. <laughs> You know, there's other artists like the White Buffalo, or um, I also I listen to Pete Sands. I have his album on my Apple Music, and I listen to more local people and country music. But oh, this, nice! This sounds well, yeah, that's cool that you support you know local music because there's yeah. there's a lot of good stuff out there, and Pete Sands. I, I've seen like a couple of videos and like images mm -hmm. of you guys together. You guys work together yeah we've been well for a year he's also helping us with our ep well yeah and we also work on the mmiw project that he's doing so we're in that video yeah. with him oh nice nice yeah I, I gotta get him on the show uh he, he's yeah. always busy so i gotta i gotta <laughs> see if i can lock him down he does a lot <laughs> yeah so when you were talking like pre-COVID, you know, mm -hmm. when you guys were performing, what kind of things were you doing? Where were you performing? And um... Well, my sister, we usually did like local events. And then there was also like Chippewa Fair and annual events and sing traditional song and dance songs. And then um, we would go, like usually annual events is what we mainly did. And then we spoke to like schools and the youth and really made sure to bring our message of letting the youth know that like the music that we do is cool. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that sounds like a, a pretty full full schedule there. It seems like, you know, you guys are, are yeah. pretty busy performing, uh, doing the live <laughs> stuff. How, do how, how do you like performing live? Uh, I, I miss performing live, mainly because I miss the audience I was with and, like, the little kids that would come up to you and ask for pictures. <laughs> um, most of the time, I was usually with my sister. So it was something that, you know, I surely do miss because as of now, I don't know how we would have done it because my sister's in college now. I maybe would have went solo if, if, if this COVID, COVID didn't really affect us. But yeah. Do you guys um, write together or, or do you guys have the same style of music? Do you guys, or do you guys have your own taste? And um, I think we kind of have different styles, especially like with singing. Like if you listen to her songs, they're more based off of like Alicia Keys or Adele. And I don't, I don't really know what my genre would be, but I kind of just write and yeah. Cool. So you're you're the singer songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> but we also have an album out called Epiphany, and it's a traditional, traditional album. And we both wrote on that, and we also wrote with Algie Gray Eyes. Oh wow! And that's uh in in Navajo. Yeah. Well, it's so we wanted to make contemporary music, but also mix it in with our traditional song. So it is in English, but it's in our traditional. Um, song and dance form. Awesome. I've, I've heard some of that. So if, uh, if anybody out there hasn't heard it, uh, where, where can we get that? Okay, you can stream Epiphany on Apple and Spotify, or you can order it and get the CD itself. There you go, people. Download that, add it to your playlist, and uh, give it give it some, some listens. So mm -hmm. you, you got another song for us? Uh, yeah. So I usually do a lot of cover songs because I don't know if I if I want the songs that I wrote out yet. But this one's July by Noah Cyrus. Um. 
been holding my breath Coming to terms I've been holding back tears Back tears on you know why I'm afraid of change I guess that's why I stay the same So tell me to leave, I'll pack my bags, get on the road Find someone that loves you better than I do, darling, I know. Could you remind me every day I'm not enough, but I still stay? Feels like a lifetime just trying to get by, but dying inside. I've done a lot of things wrong, loving you, being one, but I can't move on. That's why I stay the same. So tell me to leave. I'll pack my bags, get on the road. Da 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 da. Cause you remind me every day I'm not in. But I still stay. I like that song a lot. I remember when it first came out. Yeah. I, uh, I I tried to I I started learning it. It's not, it sounds super simple when you listen to it. Yeah. But when you try to get it down and, and try to syncopate the vocals and the guitar, it's like, whoa! It's, it's not so easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's only been like about two years since i started playing guitar and this was one of those songs where i was like i think i can i think i can cover this song <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's super cool I, I i dig that song a lot it's, um I, like i said when it first came out i was trying to learn it and i was like uh i, I couldn't get through the vocals they were just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all over the place and i was like oh okay but i, <laughs> but I enjoy it i like it a lot yeah so you were talking about, you know, your sisters, your sister um, and the Martin sisters. So, yeah. and, and I know you've kind of been touching base on it here and there, but <laughs> when did all that start and um, where do you see that going? Well, with Martin sisters, how it really started, a lot of people don't really know this, is I was a royalty princess at the age of nine and I was Miss Little Red Mesa and... You know, it was kind of hard at the age of nine going through what I went through because I also had a bunch of issues like, along with school. And well, then my sister came and she was a princess as well. And then we, she started doing the national anthem and then I started to just do like the pledge allegiance with her. And then we started to sing and then uh, a lot of people were starting to invite us around and it was just mainly community events, like trying to represent our school. And then after we gave our crown away, a lot of people still wanted us to sing around with them. Ooh. Wow, I got, I was getting a call and I kind of shit everything <laughs> That's that's the the problem with lives, you know. Yeah. You gotta, tell, you gotta put a notice out there. Don't call me for an hour. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was making sure everybody didn't contact me at this moment. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. So, you and your sister, how 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 many years apart are you? Uh, my sister is only a year apart from me. Oh, which okay. Was, it was really easy having somebody that was around my same age. Yeah. Well, that's cool. And, and are you guys going to continue to work together? Is that something you enjoy? Or, or do you guys kind of see yourself doing your own things more and more? Uh, well, this year I really wanted to have, like, well, yeah, this year I really wanted to play. And because my sister is in college as of now, 
I, I think it would be very rare for us to be together at the moment because she's doing school. Yeah. Well, it seems like you. It seems like you both have, you know, a, a unique, um, your individual styles. Mm -hmm. and, and for you, it seems like uh, you're, you're just, you're just ready to go. You know, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're learning songs, you're learning guitar. Is, is guitar the only instrument you play or are there other instruments that you play? Well, I know, I barely learned guitar, but I know a little bit of piano and ukulele, but I was really like, I need to learn to play like one instrument first, so I chose guitar. <laughs> yeah. So, so how are you doing that? You know, for, for people that are trying to pick up guitar or want to pick up guitar, what, uh, what are you, how, how are you learning? Are you taking lessons? Are you watching videos? Are you just kind of listening I, to stuff? I started off um, being inspired by like other native artists. And then I picked up a guitar, even if it's like a pawn shop guitar. And then you just learn the basics of it on YouTube. I got, I was lucky enough to have help from Pete. You know, he was there when I was struggling with an F chord. <laughs> but, you know, it's really good to have people that know how to play. And then actually, I'm like, it's okay to ask help, which was what I was struggling with. It was like, hey, can you help me? <laughs> but yeah, and mainly YouTube and learning cover songs is what really helps the most. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um... I, I think the F chord is the most challenging chord. <laughs> yeah. I was mean, there all night, like, really frustrated because it's, like, a chord that's, like, a bar chord. Yeah. Yeah, I need to, like, really, like, make sure you press. If you, you can also play it without the top chord. So you can, watch, I'll show you. An easy way to play it. Instead of doing, instead of doing the bar. Yeah. Just do this without the top chord in it. Well, it's out of tune, but. <laughs> yeah, without that without that top uh, note here, because normally you're trying to make this do all the work, but if you just play it like this, instead, it does the same thing. <laughs> so, I don't know, just a, a guitar tip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. So what kind of, who, who's your favorite guitarist? Uh, my favorite guitarist. I like, okay, so I met Pete's band and I like watching Chris play. He's so talented that, you know, he'll, he, he can, he knows like all the tabs and he, he, he plays like, <laughs> and it's so cool watching him do it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, there's there's so many great guitar players out there. It's, it's yeah, hard to, to have just one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how, how many songs do you have for us tonight? So I can we can kind of space them out, and make sure we get them all in. Well, <laughs> hmm. I've just been playing, <laughs> but I can do two, three. Really depends. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's do two more. That way you don't have to stress about it too much. Okay. <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and do another one, and then we'll talk for a little bit, and then we'll uh, you can play us your finale song, and then... Okay. This is new to me because I, I it's tuned a half step down, so I'm trying to, trying to listen to it. <laughs> but this is I Love You by Billie Eilish. It's not true. Tell me I've been lying. Is it lying? What the hell did I do? Ever been? I won't see right through. Mm -hmm. 
to take it back, say you try and make me laugh. Nothing has to change today. You didn't mean to say I love you. I love you. And I don't want to. Ooh. On another I didn't mean to make you cry. I, maybe we should just try to tell ourselves a good didn't mean to make you cry. I, we fall apart as it gets dark. I'm in your arms in Central Park. There's nothing left to do or say. I can't escape the way I love you. I love you. I don't want to Ooh. Ooh. That's awesome. That sounded great. So what what do you do to uh uh for your voice vocally? Do you do any um vocal training or, or do you do like any exercises um, <laughs> I used to be in choir and that was one of the things I really struggled with was warming up so as of now I am doing I am getting vocal lesson lessons because it was mainly my older sister who was the main singer but now it's just me so I'm trying to adjust to just singing by myself so I usually I'll just do like um Googs, <laughs> which is what is instructed by my my vocal. <laughs> yeah, those all the all the vocal uh, stuff sounds ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I, when I would have a gig or something, I'll on the way while I'm driving there. I try to go by myself. That way, I can kind of do it in the car. Yeah. <laughs> That's that way nobody hears me. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Well, you know, when you, when you're uh, when we get out of COVID, um, it'd be great to have you as on on one of the Native Guitarist Tour stages oh. and bring you out and have you perform and stuff. Yeah, what maybe. what <laughs> what uh what other like avenues or what other places do you want to play like what are your goals um i really just wish to be out because that's all i really want right now like even if it's any any small like any small event is really what matters for me even if it's not a stadium but you know maybe someday i hope to be like in a big big arena but as of now i just I, anything is what i really want yeah and that's not far fetched, honestly. I mean, big stadiums, your talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, just keep keep doing what you're doing and um, enjoy it, right? Because that's the that's mm -hmm. the best part of it, and it'll happen. You know, just got to keep on it. So, uh, what what do you um, what do you do when you're not doing music? Well, usually, well, well, we have school. And it's really hard, like during this time, because also this is my senior year, my senior year, and I, it's it's hard for me because it's something that we weren't used to, and especially with where where I live at, it's the Wi-Fi is really bad, so it's hard to adjust with school. But I also, if I'm not doing this, I'm usually staying home. <laughs> it's mainly. Yeah, so so you don't you don't see any of your friends or anything. It's like no. <laughs> totally isolated. Yeah, 
it's very isolated. Yeah, that's got to be tough. That's got to be hard. Well, um, so <laughs> you had you had talked talk to us about some of your your music that you're working on, some things that you have coming out. How how far along uh, do you see that those music that music coming out and being released? Um, I'm unsure because everything that we did was postponed. So uh, it really depends on if we can like try and safely get together and finish that. So it's still an unknown date, but uh, we have a contemporary EP coming out and one's with my sister. And hopefully I work on one like by myself. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's it's hard to do anything. I haven't seen my band in probably about six or seven months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, did like a, we did a music video um, last year and it was like three or four months since COVID and we did like a music video and then I haven't seen them since that. So it's like, I, I really miss them and I really doing miss doing uh, music. Mm -hmm. um, I've been kind of doing some solo stuff like you and uh, yeah. that that's one of the reasons my my setup wasn't working because I had it set up for a recording and, and I didn't oh. have it set up for the live audio. So uh, now I know. Now I'm going to have a little post-it on it. So every time yes, I go it. live, I, I know how to set things up again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right on. Well, why don't you uh, play us one more song and then um, we'll, we'll let everybody know how we can get a hold of you and, and uh, get your music and stuff. And Okay. Um, I'm going to go grab my capo real quick. If you're just tuning in, everybody, this is Behind the Mask. Uh, we're on every Thursday evening. And this evening we have the lovely, uh, what, how do you pronounce your name? I'm going to get it wrong. It's, you can call me Dodge. Dodge, okay. It's, my actual name is Dodgeny. <laughs> Dodgeny, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me try and figure out it would be on Okay. So we recently did this song um and did a video on it with my sister because I got to visit her for one day and it's the first song you actually posted of me singing, it's The Night We Met by Lord Hura. Right? So we have this red. Tune half <laughs> That's fine. You're doing good. All right. I think I'll do instead one of my songs. So it's called The Shine. It was a song that I was talking about that I, um, that's going to be in our EP. But. Nice. Okay. Um... 
chases her It's all out of pit Shows all love The in the dead man here Space is shrink for tears Is this what it's like to face all the fears? Time takes its toll with the years spent alone, trapped in the oh, broken home. It all night, she screams out in fright, she loves in that bright. That's great. I can't wait till that comes out so I can uh <laughs> I can listen to that and see see how the final product sounds. It sounds great. So, you know, for a lot we get a lot of musicians that tune in to Behind the Mask. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, for people that are are just starting out, what kind of what kind of advice would you give to people that want to become a singer-songwriter or a musician? I would say uh to mainly believe in what you're doing and if you truly know that that, that this is what you want to do then push for it and make sure that you you're doing what you want and you're you how would i put this um you do what you aspire to do and um, you know, there's always that like thought in your head where you're like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. You, you'd have to train yourself to ignore that voice in your head and really push and aspire because that's really what's going to help you as yourself. You heard it, people. That's some great advice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dutch, did I yeah. say it right? Yeah, you said it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh sunrise rising sun martin yeah um well thank you so much for for joining this evening and being our our featured artist tonight it was really great uh getting to know you and to listen to your story and your songs and uh wish you all the best and looking forward to covid uh getting uh through covid yeah so we we can uh see see you perform live and and catch all that stuff live. But for people that want to find um, find you and get a hold of you, uh, find your music, find your everything you got going on, how, how do we do that? Uh, so you can either see us on Facebook or Instagram at Martin. So Instagram is Martin for Sisters with a Z. And our Facebook is just Martin Sisters. And I hope to see you guys there awesome yep so make sure you follow everybody if you go up on top here if you see that little where it says behind the mask i think it says that for everybody if you mm -hmm. click on it there'll be a drop down menu just be sure to follow you can follow uh, both of us there tonight and uh once again want to thank you so much for joining us it was an awesome <laughs> evening great songs um yeah looking forward to doing this again right after after you get some music released then we'll we'll have you back on and um, we also have a show called um, open mic night it happens every Tuesday um, this week it's happening tomorrow but um, tune in and, and sing us a song we'd love to have you on all right right on well thank you thank you and uh, um, ladies and gentlemen thank you for tuning in this is behind the mask Every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, we bring you interviews with today's top Native artists in Native country. Yes, 
Um, every, like I said, every Tuesday we have open mic night with Jacob Shehey from Santa Clara Pueblo. On Wednesdays we have NGT Cafe with Scotty Clifford from the Bat from Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. And uh, here in Albuquerque on Thursday nights, I bring you Behind the Mask. Thank you. Everybody have a great evening. Wash your hands, wear your masks, and be safe. We'll see you, Dash. Okay, thank you. Awesome.